Now that we've explored the Yelp data a bit, we're going to take a deeper look at business categories. Some of you may have noticed that there are many business categories in Yelp that seem to be related but really aren't organized together. Uh, for example, uh, we can safely assume that there, there's some relationship uh, in food style and possibly some similar tastes uh, between something that's categorized as a sushi bar and one that's categorized as a ramen shop. And we can imagine how uh, being able to group similar businesses is, is essential for certain types of analysis such as you know, finding general preferences, um, but also just for creating an intuitive navigation for users for different types of businesses. So our challenge for this section is to take a list of random businesses and random business categories and automatically create a taxonomy that's easier for users to traverse. And since it would be tedious to do this manually on, on even a small data set, we'd want to learn the structure and hierarchy of business that using the data that's already hiding there in the Yelp information. Um, we'd like to use graph algorithms to, uh, to extract that information. The overlap similarity algorithm is a perfect choice when we're trying to find hierarchy in data and want to create super or subcategories. It, this is related to how it measures overlap between two groups of nodes. Uh, mathematically, the coefficient that it provides is defined as the intersection divided by the smaller of the two groups. The algorithm provides a similarity coefficient that represents the co-occurrence of items between those groups. If we take a, uh, a bit of an example and take a look at overlap similarity, um, we can see there's two sets here, set A, set B, and the overlap between those, or rather the intersection between those, is orange and banana. Those are the two items that occur in both sets. So the intersection is two in that case. Now the overlap similarity algorithm then uses the, um, the smaller of the two sets, um, which one's smaller between A and B. We can clearly see that B is smaller, it has three items in it, and then it divides that intersection by the smaller of those two sets, in this case, two divided by three, which give us, gives us a 0.66 uh, coefficient. Now, if we change just one item here, I've changed the apple for uh, cherry here in, in set B, um, we can see how and visually see how we would get a overlap similarity of 1.0. Uh, because one set completely can, is contained within the other set. So although the overlap similarity can be used to evaluate general similarity, um, it's often used because it, because it uses the smaller of the two sets as the denominator. It's often very, um, very useful for extracting subgroups. And of course, finding multiple subgroups is, is a very effective way to create a taxonomy. By the end of the section, we'll have updated the user's navigation to reflect top-level categories of the Yelp businesses. You should be able to explain what the overlap coefficient represents and be familiar with the narrower than relationship to help build a taxonomy. Then, of course, we'll have a short quiz to evaluate progress.